Hello everyone. Today we make together milk cookies. This cookies is wonderful and really tasty, especially when you have with coffee or tea in the morning. Really nice flavor, aroma, and this different taste than normal cookies. We make it together, prepare bin and paper. Let's start. Please guys, if you first time watch my YouTube channel, please activate the ring to receive all new and make subscribe. Also you can make share and give comment when you like the video. Let's start. 60 gram butter, 60 gram icing sugar or powder sugar, 40 gram milk powder, 100 gram egg, it's one and a half eggs, 16 gram honey, 4 gram baking powder, 200 gram corn flour, corn starch, 80 gram normal flour. So all dry ingredients we strain together. It makes uh, the dough very fluffy. Then we added 60 gram butter, 60 gram icing sugar or powdered sugar. And then we start mix all together to be soft. I prefer to keep the butter before using one hour in room temperature so it can be easy. Also, if you can use food process or kitchen aid or hand mixer, it will be much easier for you because any cookies you make, if you stir the butter and sugar to make it fluffy, it's much easier to absorb all the dry ingredients and taste becomes very nice. Again, we mix until it becomes very soft, still strong. When it becomes soft, I added the 100 gram eggs, is one and a half eggs. Make sure the dough, butter and sugar is very soft, so you added eggs and then you added the honey. Sixteen gram honey, you can make it 20, will be much tasty. And the honey added amazing flavor to the cookies. Then we mix all together to harmonize and emulsify. And then we added the baking powder. This is the only recipe I use baking powder, not mixing with the dry ingredients. Make sure they all emulsify. Then I added the baking powder. Continue whisk the battering and when it melt together I added the corn flour with normal all purpose flour or cake flour what you have then I start mix the dough An easy way you can use kitchen aid or food process. It's a small quantity, you can make it by your hand also. Now the dough becomes strong, so I use my hand. Make sure that you absorb all the powder with the liquid and then becomes a nice dough. You see, it becomes little dough like sablé or sugar dough.
you keep mixing until it becomes the dough very soft you check you roll little bit and if you see mixing is okay if you see like is not mixing together that means you need more need the dough again mix it until it becomes very soft when you mix it the butter reheated and they make emulsify all the dough or you can cover it for 10 minutes to rest and then you can mix it again we cover for 10 minutes and then becomes softer and now you can see it's get out from the stainless steel bowl and now you can knead the dough in the table until it becomes really soft now you see the dough it's really soft again as much as you need the dough it becomes more softer Now you see very elastic dough and you can roll it like little bar so it's easy to cut all the same size and then we roll it it's like Arabic cookies with ghee butter but it's more tasty and more flavor this looks like when you're baking it's easy way to bake if you have confection oven it's 140 centigrade almost 10 to 11 minutes you don't bake it very high temperature because it's sensitive dough as you see it's very fluffy and looks amazing this is the first dough I bake for 100 60 and it was over bake so normally any dough I make I, I put uh, five six pieces in the oven just to take a sample and to know which right temperature for cooking it's very fluffy and when you used with coffee or tea in the morning it's a really nice color nice uh, presentation you deep in coffee or tea and you will never forget the taste thank you so much for being in my youtube channel please write your comment which dessert you want to know it's my pleasure to do it for you have a beautiful day and thank